All right, so we're back at our uh, bearing motor, and um, there seems to be uh, some debate that the motor will only spin in one direction. So, um, same setup as before. Now, with this in place, I'm only drawing about uh, 650 watts from my mains. Um, if I remove that, I draw about 1580 watts. Um, and with the higher current going through the motor, it actually spins slower. So, um, that's a little interesting uh, fact with this setup here. Alright, so um, we're going to spin it backwards to start with. Switch it on. And we can see that it's quite happy to spin that way. So now we're going to spin it forwards, switch it on. And we can see that it's quite happy to spin that way as well. So, um... It's not fussy whether it gets AC or DC. And it's not fussy which direction it spins with either AC or DC. So, uh, oh, that's a bit warm. Um, the the uh, Lorenz Force verdict seems to be out at the moment um, because we have somehow a force equal and offset in both directions until such time as you spin it and then that force becomes offset according to rotation so next project I'm just going to set up two rails set a ball on it, give the ball a little roll and uh, switch on the current and see what happens so that'll be in the next video um, yeah interesting little motor thanks for watching guys